The craziest couples ever. Yo, this shit shorty, gang? This shit shorty, though? This shit shorty? Yo, stand up, please. Stand up. What's going on guys, Shaq reacts here once again, and there are some small clips of the craziest couples I can find. Now look at my favorite clip will be at the end guys, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, I guess we have this man, his girlfriend ends up exposing him with screenshots and I guess pictures of him cheating and texting somebody else. This is what he had to say about it, it's absolutely insane. No, look, you found another way to cheat on me. Did you really print out my own DMs to show me, Rhea? Now we've gotten to a new extreme of craziness. No, let's read it. Let's read it. Let's read it. Hey, boo, what are you doing and what's your number? Did That's I what she said. Did I message All right, any girl? let's keep reading. Did I message let's any keep girl? reading. Girl, you can't be doing this, lol. Exactly. How many times have I told you I have a girlfriend? You have written proof that I'm not. All right, a can we keep reading? Keep telling <laughs> can me we this? keep reading it? Or you just can't get it through your head. Ironically, like the number that you gave her, the amount of times you told her you had a girlfriend, is your number. This last clip, this girl just tried rising up this man, but it just didn't work out in her favor. First off, she was being super disrespectful by walking in front of this camera multiple times. I guess she was trying to show off her body or trying to impress him in some way. But let's just say at the end, I kind of do feel bad for her. Just look at her reaction. Wait for it. Watch till the end. So clip, this goes to show how complicated some women can be regarding how to impress them. I'm not gonna lie, if a woman's this complicated to me, I'm just gonna leave because I have no time playing childish games. Like a guy that could be around me and not pay me no mind. You could be a regular dude, a dude with mad bread, whatever it is. When I walk in the room, you're like, what's up? Regular. And it's regular. And I'm mm. like, oh. What he but don't like that, about me? But, so to get you, you gotta ignore you. But then when I get you, I gotta want you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna get punched in the throat. And this last clip is absolutely wild. Basically, we have this man over here. He ends up finding out that his girlfriend cheating on him with this other guy. Now, a fight was literally about a breakout. Now, guys, if you're literally about a fight over a cheating girlfriend, you shouldn't you shouldn't be doing that. Just leave automatically. You don't need to freaking get into a fight over a woman who doesn't even love you. And like, what kind of point are you trying to prove? My shorty at though. Hold on. Oh my. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's up, Matar? Yo, this shit shorty, gang? This shit shorty, though? This shit shorty? Yo, stand up, please. Stand up. What type of time? Yo, hold on, hold on. This my boy. Oh, last night. That's what I mean. Hold my jacket. Hold my jacket. What? So you 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 gonna come do some fun? Everybody right now? That's how you moving? Oh boy, That's how you moving? That's how you moving? That's how you moving? That's how you moving? Oh, yeah. That's how you moving oh, yeah. No, it's the evil world we live in. In this last clip, this woman absolutely embarrassed herself in front of her boyfriend. Now, this guy was not a simp, unlike other clips, to be honest. This man kind of put his foot down right in front of his girlfriend and kind of gave her the eye that this relationship is probably going to be over soon. If he gave you a guilt-free pass to sleep with anybody in the world, would you use it? Yeah. On who? Mm. Zach Efron, Josh Bowman, some celebrity. Hot celebrity. You turn that down? Mm-mm. Couldn't do it. Alright, what if it was all the way around? I know what I'm worth. One night with one celebrity doesn't change who I am. So you wouldn't use it? Even There's if I no gave point. it to you? No. Because it's it, it sounds like a trap. If, if, if your significant other is willing to give you a one night and a one night stand with anybody in the world, it sounds like a trap for your loyalty. Fuck, no, fuck that. In this last clip, we have Madison Beer over here trying to explain why women who get cheated on and not do anything about it shouldn't deserve any respect. And to be honest, I 100% agree with her. If you know your boyfriend is cheating on you and you stay with him, I'm not gonna cry you a river. You know, you're aware of it. If you know that the guy you're hooking up with is a player, you can't be sitting there, oh, he hooked up with this girl last night, I thought he was mine. I'm like, I told you this 10 times. You have no right to be sitting here crying. 
And this desk clip is absolutely insane that this is actually a, like the statistic for how many people get cheated on and how many kids are actually the father's kids. I guess she ends up explaining that there's some hospital where they start running tests to see if the father is legitimate or not. And it turns out 40% of these cases are not. Like if this is 40% of kids that are actually tested, imagine how many we just don't know about. Two guys call in, they work at DNA testing centers. One guy had to quit, one guy still works there. He told me 40% of the children are not the man's child. 40%. 40%. He said 40%. Somebody cool, and Lori. It's usually, Make DNA testing it's, it, and it's two, mandatory. And it's two scenarios. It's where the woman, they, the person's getting a DNA test because the woman claims that is their child. Turns out it's not. The other one is where the parent is on the deathbed and makes a confession. Oh, or God. they need a health, they need a liver transplant, blood transfusion, and the blood type, there's no way that that can actually be the father. So then they find out because of medical reasons, you mean that's not my father? Then the father finds out from that way. He said it took such a toll on him that he could no longer do it because he would be sitting on the phone counseling the men and the grown children who these women falsely accuse. We see it on more, we see it on paternity court, but yet we say men need to be held accountable. In this last clip, I'm not sure what kind of riz this is. He kind of gave her no option, but he was super funny about it, and I guess she kind of liked it. I wanted to say, uh, I think you're very beautiful. Because I want your number. If you don't give it to me, I'm gonna have no choice but to knock your ass out. Damn! I actually have two gloves right here for you, just to make it fair. Because girls love equality, right? So here, nigga. Damn! You know what I'm saying? Let's get to squabbling. Come on. I'm to knock your ass out. Look, it's either you give me your number, you think I'm cute? What's up? Cute. Get... You sound what? Cute. Go on my phone real quick. Hold on a second, girl. You playing on me. Because I can already tell you think a nigga cute. Yeah, let me get your number, girl. In this last clip, I guess we have this friend over here. She ended up seeing this one friend hook up with this other girl's boyfriend. And I guess she decides to expose him right on camera. And this other girl didn't like it at all. Emma, I have, like, something to tell you. Emma, yeah. I have something to tell you. Okay. So, like, this weekend... Yeah. No, I think you should stay. This weekend, I saw Derek and Kelly hooking up. I saw them hooking up. I walked in on them hooking up. Are you fucking kidding me? That's a joke, right? And this little clip, this guy is playing a very, very close game with the father. I'm not gonna lie, it was very funny. Hey, can you pass me the salt, please? Come on, child. For real? <laughs> oh, In this last clip, once again, we have Ultimate Riz over here. But to be honest, it's probably just not Riz. This man is just automatically good looking and goes to show how easy it is to spit some game when you're just very attractive. And to be honest, just super respectful. <laughs> I know every beautiful woman in, 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 in the country and I don't know you. I'm Salva. Lovely yeah. to meet you. Lovely to meet you. You've got really nice teeth. Thank you. Which are not real. No, I got veneers. I actually like how I look, to be honest. I like how you look as well. Thank you. I was expecting that one. You follow me then? I have actually have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend now? Where's he from? He's Indian. The ex was Lebanese. Yeah. Your current is Indian. And your next is Diego. <laughs> it's got really nice eyes. Thank you. You're really good at this eye contact thing. It's just a bit of confidence. I don't, I don't know why people struggle so much. When you stare into each other's eyes, you create some sort of like bond or connection. Absolutely. Maybe it's not confidence. Maybe I just Maybe. like looking at beautiful big brown. You get lost. You're so cheeky. Lost in a, I love it. Right, so let's change the fact that you don't follow me on Instagram. Go for it. Come here. What? Taking a selfie. Oh, would you look at that? Don't we look okay. nice? I need that. So I can show my mum my future wife. <laughs> it was lovely to see you. I, I love your videos. Thank you. I'm following you now. I miss you. And now final for my favorite clip on the list, guys. We have this woman over here. I guess her boyfriend wants her to wear some crazy clothes just so he can get some appreciation from her. And to be honest, it was pretty hilarious. Mm. Okay, you're already using the laptop. Great. Hold on. No, no, no. Oh my god. Okay, so you know it's how you were saying you know how you were saying that you wanted to get clothes for summer. Yeah. Okay, so I went ahead and took the liberty of doing that for you. I was literally so, doing that. No, well, I did it for you. So here we got the, uh, some items of clothing that I got for you. So here's the first one. Go ahead and just really? uh, scroll through. So I'm going to be f***ing hot in that. Well, that's the point. Look at you all sexy. Okay, that's so, not sexy. So, so here's the first that's one. That's not sexy. Just letting people know. And then here's the second one. You didn't even let me finish my explanation. Here's the because second I don't like it. So is this one has a bikini with my beautiful face on it. Oh, look at that. Her hand even looks like she's holding me. Perfect. So. I'll wear that. Okay, great. We're on a great but start. But just We're that. We're on a great start now. Okay, go to the third one. So here we have the <laughs> sock. There's no way I'm wearing that. Yeah, if so, I'm wearing that, you're wearing that too. So you can be all cozy. No, I'm nice not the only one that's going to be embarrassed. And uh, you'll no. be nice and covered up. Because I don't know about this whole thing. It's like a little. 
Really? But, uh, yeah, you'll be nice and toasty. I don't even want to look too you one. Last one. Come on, babe. Really? So this is... Well, that's it, guys. So much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.